Okay, um, I'm re doing this video to replace the rather poor quality one I posted before with the terrible audio. But I want to show the application. I used um, this new Osram Lightify RGB LED bulb for. My Home Depot finally got four of these in, so I snatched up one of them. Um, fairly expensive, about 39 bucks, but um, has a lot of wow factor and a lot of capabilities. It looks uh, unlike the Hue bulb, it looks very conventional, and uh, the colors are just just knock your socks off when you when you look at them. What I'd like to show in this video is kind of what I did with it, and then how I integrated it with Apple's HomeKit technology that allows Siri control. Now, Wink does not have a official way of connecting to Apple HomeKit as of yet. That may be an enhancement that comes in the future. So, what some people have done is they've taken a Raspberry Pi and they've uh, come up with some code that acts as sort of a bridge between the Wink uh, API and Apple's HomeKit using uh, some parts from Apple, some parts from Wink, and then this uh, special uh, HomeBridge application that runs on the Pi with the Wink plugin that acts as a bridge between those two technologies. And the net result is you can um, give voice commands to the bulb and change the colors which I find particularly amusing, kind of fun to play with. So first of all, I'll show what I did. Uh, behind my flat screen TV, I have this alcove that was designed for an older, older television, obviously. So uh, it's a good spot to put all my cables and other various uh, Raspberry Pi media center gear and everything. But uh, there's kind of this big hole back there, and it seemed to me that to reduce eye strain, it would be kind of neat to put a a bulb in back of that to sort of backlight the TV and reduce the eye strain. So I did use the Hue bulb for that. I bought a cheap six dollar reflector from Home Depot when I got the bulb and it's one of these uh, clamp-on type utility um, lamps that I clamped down to the outlet strip in the back and it's kind of nice because it has like a ball joint on the end of it that allows you to swing and uh, adjust it. So what I did is I aimed it at the back wall and it does produce quite a nice light. I'll turn it on and it's in white mode right now. So you can see, and I will zoom in a bit so we can get the color uh, color effect. You can see it's fairly bright and right now it's set to uh, the warm 27, about 2700K setting I like. But you can tune the bulb directly from the Wink app to be any of a number of colors from an extremely high 6470K all the way down to a, a 1900K which looks frankly orange to me but uh, normally I run most of the bulbs in my house at about 2700 2700 on this bulb seems kind of kind of orangey kind of warm so it doesn't quite match a lot of the other technologies that I have but that's probably uh, you know the result of the three LEDs that they're using to combine into the various color lights so uh, on the Wink app the newly upgraded Wink app uh, you can change it in white mode to these different color temperatures. If you go into the color mode, you can um, you have a color wheel. I don't know if you can see that, kind of a color wheel that allows you to select the color that you set the bulb to. So in this case, I'll switch it to color mode, and um, hopefully, and you can see well very deep red. And this bulb is particularly good at at rendering reds. Uh, the pure colors are excellent. Uh, when you start getting shades, it seems like the intensity drops off a bit, but still very good. I'm kind of walking. I'll tell you what, I'll start with red and just kind of walk around the color wheel. And you can see the effect. Uh, pretty good orange, yellow, uh, very good green, pretty good sky blue. And the one I tend to use with the backlight on the TV is just a very deep, intense blue. Makes a nice night light. And of course, you can change the intensity. I don't know if that'll show up on the video. Yeah, I guess it does. Now you do see some flickering there. I think that's a result of the 60 hertz flickering on the bulb beating with the refresh rate of the camera. So that actually does not blink uh, in real in real life. So that's that's kind of it. And as I mentioned, this Raspberry Pi is sitting on my desk that I have actually running uh, Raspberry and Linux, and it's actually doing some other things for me in the house. I've got an aircraft radar antenna on the roof that picks up radar signals from um, aircraft and then displays it on a computer screen. 
so it's doing primarily that, but there's plenty of horsepower on the Raspberry Pi 2 left over for this um, this application. So I just kind of compiled it and put it on there, and it works great. So a couple of pieces to that: you need the um, you need the uh, the Wink Hub, of course, and the bulb. Then you need the Raspberry Pi, and you have to compile the software with the Wink plugin to make this work. Then you need an application, and there's a number of free ones that install on your iPhone or iOS device. And what that does is link to the home bridge as a device and imports all of the devices you've defined in the Wink as individual devices. So you just add them. The home bridge is a single device to the app on your iOS, and it reads from the API from Wink all of the um, devices you've got installed and loads those up into the Apple interface. Um, from then on, once you create a HomeKit account, you can use Siri uh, to control your um, your lights and basically, really, all of your um, all of your devices in the house: your your outlets, your GE lights, your Z-Wave, um, you know, switches and dimmers. I've got several of those. So very uh, very cool, very very nice integration. So anyway, I've been playing manually with the colors here, but let me show you how Siri works with this, which I think is kind of cool and one of the neat things is it does allow uh, calling out some rather peculiar color names. So we'll use Siri to do this right now. Siri, set the TV backlight to red. Your wish is my command, and low, red. Siri, Siri, set the TV backlight to green. Your wish is my command. And low, green. Siri, set the TV backlight to blue. Blue, coming right up. Siri, set the TV backlight to orange. Your wish is my command, and low, orange. Siri, what color is the TV backlight? Orange. Uh, Siri, set the TV backlight to mellow banana yellow. Banana yellow, coming right up. <laughs> oh boy. Siri, set the uh, TV backlight to puce. Puce, coming right up. Siri, set the TV backlight to cinnamon. I couldn't find anything closer than chocolate. <laughs> Siri, set the TV backlight to raspberry. Raspberry, coming right up. Set the TV backlight to baby blue. Baby blue, coming right up. Set the TV backlight to midnight blue. Midnight blue, coming right up. What color is the TV backlight? Sorry, Don. I wasn't able to find any devices this time. What color is the TV backlight? Navy blue. <laughs> All right. I said midnight blue, and it said picked up um, navy blue. Interesting. Uh, Siri, set the TV backlight to 100%. Sorry, Don. I wasn't able to... Set the TV backlight to 100... Oops, I can't use the word set. <laughs> That's one little glitch on this thing. Um, Siri, brighten the TV backlight to 100%. You got it, Don. I set the TV backlight to 100. So, uh, pretty good integration. Now, the problem I'm having is when you want to switch it back to a white light, which I typically don't with this application, but um, let me try this. Siri, set the TV backlight to warm fluorescent. Hmm, I couldn't get a response from your devices this time. I didn't like that. Siri, set the TV backlight to high noon. Your wish is my command, and lo, high noon sun. That is the only white that I can get Siri to recognize, and, and Apple is very non-forthcoming on the actual colors that are supported, so you got to kind of play with it. I cannot get it to vary the color temperature, so 
hopefully that will be an enhancement in the future. I did read a tip on Engadget, I think, that said the color Topaz is actually close to a 2700K uh, uh, color temperature, and that could be used. So let me try that. Siri, set the TV backlight to Topaz. Your wish is my command, and lo, Topaz. Well, that looks pretty warm to me, but they claim that's equivalent to a uh, warm color temperature so anyway very cool and um, so far it's been flawless I've run the Homebridge software and there doesn't seem to be any memory leaks or other bad effects uh, in the code it seems extremely well written I have had some problems when the um, when the Wink API has gone down as it did a couple of weeks ago and sometimes it requires a reboot and I have a button on the top of my Pi that I installed to, to make that pretty easy but typically uh, you don't have to do that now it only works within your local LAN so if I were to go outside my LAN on a 3G or a LTE or 1X network I would not be able to use the external internet to get back and control my lights unfortunately so that is a limitation of the technology I think if you have an Apple TV there is a way of getting around that but it, it's it's rather complex on the handshaking that that uses and I'm, I don't quite understand it but that's what I've read the other bug I've seen is that if I uh, if I set the color manually as I'm doing now and then I go back in and ask Siri what color it is it doesn't know for example I'll set a color to red and I'll ask Siri what color it is uh, Siri what color is the TV backlight Hmm. Well, <laughs> maybe it's working today. Let's let's um, let's see if I can fool it. We'll set it to blue. Siri, what color is the TV backlight? Sorry, Don. What color is the TV backlight? Scarlet. Well, okay, not working. So it doesn't always, I think it was just coincidence that I uh, had last told Siri to set it to red and then manually set it to red. Siri remembers the last color it set it to, but it does not pick up changes made in the, in the Wink app. The opposite is not true. So if I change the color in, um, uh, with Siri and then go into the Wink app within a second or two, uh, the little icon uh, for the bulb actually changes the color to match what it's set to which is kind of neat and I think something new in the uh, new support that was added in the recent iOS update. So anyway, um, probably more than you wanted to know about it, but a very cool, very, very cool um, application of this. And it actually has gotten some good press in the house. My wife is normally tolerant of my, my fooling around, but um, she really actually likes this and it makes a nice nightlight. So it's integrated ni quite nicely into the, into the home setup here. Thanks for listening and hope this video is a bit more watchable than the other.